Hello, hello, hello all my machine heads and a welcome, welcome, welcome back to episode number two of Maypole Farm, the realistic farming series for Farming Simulator 22, where we use our real tractors, we use our real equipment, we have realistic tutorials, and we have a real lot of fun. As I stated in the first episode, we are back here, and we are still mowing. Let me scoot up so I can drive, and we're going to turn that on. Turn that on. Switch back to the front and let's go. Let's go, everybody. Let's go. So how's everybody doing today? I'm doing great. I'm doing awesome. I'm doing fan deletastic. Yes, 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 yes. So we're going to keep mowing, and we're going to keep mowing, and we're going to keep mowing until we get done. And I don't care how many episodes it takes us. I don't care. We're going to do this the right way, and we're going to keep it going. I loaded in a few more mods today. Loaded in a new Fiat. Well, it's not new. The old 180-190 Fiat Gris. So I know that's Russell's favorite tractor, and I'd like to be able to use it again. And I got course play in here because I'd like to, once we get this set up on and get mowed and get it plowed in uh, I'm going to set it off on a course play so but we're going to act like we family members here like we always do we are going to act like as that's why we're not going to pay our workers at all they are family members and they work for us <laughs> that's why it says up in the right hand corner course play I still don't know how to use it. I still got to go off camera for quite a while and monkey around with it and get it set up to where um, I am going to get this cruise control going, you know, so I don't have to keep my foot on the pedal. Look at us mowing away. We are at four acres after two headlands. I want to see what we're at after three. Three. So tomorrow, I'm, I'm recording this Monday night, Monday, Monday, Monday at 11.15 p.m. Yay. Man, this was and still is my all-time favorite tractor of all time. The 8340. Actually, I like the 8350 better, but... The 8340 was uh, Ford's version. Uh, New Holland and Fiat Gris came out with a bunch of different ones. It was pretty cool. Um, this is a great tractor. It's the one I used on oh, Metal Grove Extended. You guys know that was the last Let's Play I did for FS19. It was fantastic. It was great. I just love... The view, you can see the view from in here really well. The mirrors are set up really well. I just wish they, um, eventually the, the, someone's going to come out with the mirror mod like we had in 17 and 19, because I'd like to pull those mirrors down so I can see the implements a little bit, so I don't always have to turn around. That's, the, that's why mowing is relaxing. Man, I spent... I, uh, I, I, it's been getting warmer around here, and I've been working outside a lot, working on the tractor today, and doing some stuff that I needed to do around the house, and I, I went for a nice jog, and boy, I tell you, at about 4.30 this afternoon, I just went, ugh, I got no energy, I was like, ugh, this is ridiculous, so I took a little nap, got up, and lo and behold, of course, I go right on YouTube, so I get up. Lo and behold, Cavalier Roy is on, the map maker of this map, and he's doing a live version of Riverview, the brand new version, and he was playing with a buddy of his, and I was like, uh, I, I want to watch like I was enthralled, but I stopped because I said, after about 10 minutes, I said, well, and he had been going for like three hours <laughs> by the time I got on, um, so I was just like, 
I don't want to watch too much. I want to be excited when I see the map. So what I've decided to do, everyone, is I'm going to do this Let's Play and that Let's Play. But let's do it differently. Let's do, if we're going to do Dairy Farm on this map, let's do something different. Maybe, no, because it really doesn't matter to me. Even if we do a Dairy, dairy on both, it really doesn't matter. Really, really doesn't matter to me. Um, but I was going to say, let's try to do sheep or something on that one. Um, but he's got that map set up for uh, dairy as well. So, not the end of the world. I personally would rather just do dairy all the way around. <laughs> um, hopefully someone comes out with a mod that allows you to have manure and slurry for sheep. Because that's, like I told you guys last night, um, that a friend of mine raises sheep. And they make manure, and they make slurry, just like cows do. Not not nearly in the level. Not nearly in the level that, say, uh, cows do. Well... Do this. Leave the front one off for just a little bit here. Mow the back one. Now we'll turn the front one on. Perfect. Perfect. mowed around like this and then we'll come out here alright so I'm guessing should be about two acres let us see see all these course play things now I still don't know how to use any of them but we'll figure it out uh, where are we here what is that oh that's cool never seen that that one before <sighs> Where are we here? Okay. 5.62 on three headlands. So we're going to go four. Four headlands around. And then on the fourth one, we'll stop. We'll go down there and start working our way up. So yeah, I'm going to play around off camera and see if I can get figure out like in depth how this course play works. Because... Like I said, um, I grew up on a family farm, and we never got paid. Make sure I didn't miss any. So I want to act like if we're going to use course play, we're going to use workers like that. We're going to act like they're family members, just like you guys are that are watching us. Man, I'll tell you, I was, I watched, um, oh, who was it? A couple of people today were putting out multiplayer videos and Cavalier Roy was on Riverview and he was on um, he put out a video of Formula One. Oh, I found myself so enthralled I watched the whole race how scary is that <laughs> I watched a whole it was only 17 laps but each, each lap around was like 2 point something miles and so when you're watching like a 35 40 mile race you're like you know, I found myself um, grabbing my steering wheel and trying to steer. <laughs> it was great. It was a great. I don't even know if we have a workshop on this farm. I got to see. Yeah, this is headland number four. Because generally what you want to do when you're doing headlands, you guys always ask, everybody always asks me, well, Fury, how do I know how many headlands to do so I have enough room to turn around? 
And the easiest way is times your implement um, by minimum of three. Okay? So if you have a six meter width working with, then you want to have at least 18 feet to turn around. And closer probably to four is what I would do. So if you're using a six meter equipment, the minimum amount of headlands you want to do is four. And that, that gives you the full six feet. Uh, and your tractor is usually eight feet. So it gives you the six feet plus eight, which is 14. Um, and then you've got the additional four or five feet to turn around. So if you use 12 meter equipment, you're going to still do, you're going to do three headlands. So what I mean? You drop it down by one because that gives you 36 feet. Because what you want to do is you want to have enough room so your tractor facing this way has enough for your implement to turn around completely, which most of you knew that. That's kind of uh, a ridiculous, but I, just, I still get questions about it. And so I try to figure that I'm going to try to answer some questions during our, our Let's Play. Uh, that way, it's easier almost for me to answer questions here than it is to type it out. I mean, even though I want to, I want you guys to see that I'm still interacting with you. Uh, and if you notice, even after all this time and all the new family members, I still respond to each and every one of you. Uh, every single one. And now, if we ever get up as big as, say, DJ Goham or Virtual Farmer or Daggerwin, uh, it may be more of a let me respond in, in game. <laughs> now see, this is what I'm talking about. See, come down here and look at the room now we've got. See, we can turn around fully without having to um, have too much issues. Now, what I may do though is, well, no, because butterfly mowers are great, but you've got to then, if you're not going to use GPS, which we're not going to on this uh, map um, because these tractors wouldn't necessarily have them in it uh, you would have to put the Starfire program in it, or the little the little thing with the big yellow dome on the top All right. I tend to drift when I turn um so because we're not going to use GPS, see right now I can just mow on the front mower and be done with it. Um, but when you have a butterfly mower, then you're still only getting, like if I was to use a butterfly mower on this. See how we're mowing three foot wide there and three foot wide here. It's about six foot wide. If you add another three foot, you're, you're losing it if you follow the front mower. You almost constantly got to worry about which side you're on and stuff. So... We had a butterfly mower, so it's not the end of the world. We had a big one, actually. We had, uh, oh, it was the equated. It was put out by John Deere, but it was equated to the Pottinger. So it was about 10 meters wide. Ours was a little bit bigger. Um, and then Dad switched to the brush hog, um, which we liked better, because not only can you use the brush hog for... Um, mowing grass but we also used our John Deere brush hog uh whoops let me show you I'll show you the exact one we had do 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 because I got a mod for it this one right here okay so this is the HX20 we had the HX15 this is the HX20 we had the HX15, so it was one one level below this. This is 6.2 meters wide. Ours was 5.4, so it's a little smaller than this. But the nice thing about this is not only can you use this to mow grass, what you can also use this for is to, like when corn, what we used to do is when, the, when we got done harvesting our corn, we would drive over it with our brush hog, and it would take all of the stalks and mulch them up and put them right back in for fertilizer. So we, you, it's like a double whammy, and Dad switched to that. So it was it was smaller. Um, it was uh, instead of ten point one or two meters wide, it was only six or five point eight. 
So, all right, we're going to start squaring this off now. Heading down here. All right, so now that we got that, let's... Do that. Head down here. Let me check real quick again. Ah, uh, do 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 do. Seven point seven acres so far that we've mowed. Now we're gonna go down the other end and we're gonna work our way back home. <laughs> That's what we used to call it. You always want to try to work the farthest end of your field towards your farm. Or towards the the roads or wherever you've got your trailer parked you uh see you want to try to go the short way short way is less turns so the way we're driving okay best way to describe it see how the long way is this way the short way is this way. Okay. So we're going to go the short way across the bottom of the field. Plus, it's the squares that we have. So we're going to go, boom, and then we're going to work our way back towards our farm. All right. And then when I plow this in, I'm going to plow it in all the way around here, to up to the head, right up to the hedge. Plow it all the way right in. We're going to plant new grass here. But I'm going to then utilize course play because it will consider itself a field at that point. And then, because we're making new fields, like if I kept the, the fields the way they are, course play would just recognize it. But because we're literally making a brand new field here, course play can't figure it out until I set it up. So this is going to be the way we're going to do it. But that's what I wanted to show you guys was you try to go the shortest way, and you want to try to pick a squarest corner that you can. So you see how from all the way up there to here, that's the long end. This is the short end, and it's square. So our rows will stay nice and square. Same thing when we windrow. The key is to windrow, you want to leave your headlands to last. Okay? That way you're not driving over them. So we're going to come down, uh, like probably about in here, work our way down. Work our way a couple edges off the edge. We'll go one, well, I'll have to show you. It's easier showed than done than uh, from up here. Whoops. <laughs> Turn that back on. I always do that. Just don't go one more click. But I'll tell you something. I use this stupid power tools more times than I can count. As a content creator, oh my lord, is it the greatest ever all right so and normally if i had a newer tractor i would literally this is where the butterfly comes in okay so you're following it this way you'll get 3.9 meters we turn around you get 3.1 on the other side all right but we don't have that so we're gonna have to utilize it you know what you know what i just thought about something Instead of doing that, why don't we just keep going in a circle? That's the way these mowers are designed. Actually, you know what? We could go down. I think this mower has enough to, um, enough power to do a butterfly mower. Once we get done with this pass, let's go figure it out. We'll, we've got a little extra money, not a lot. I wish, see the best way to do it is to hook your butterfly mowers up on the front. Like if you had a Valtra and you had a reversible tractor, you put your, you put your butterfly mowers on the back where the heaviest part is, and then you can turn around and drive with it together. I actually, our neighbor used to do that. Our neighbor used to have a Fiat 180, 190, the tractor that I'm getting ready to buy here soon. 
Um, and he had him on the front. He just had a huge weight on the back. So let me see. If we can. You know what? Because we may switch. We may switch to this. Because I'm getting this six feet anyways. Yeah. Because what's our butterflies? They are 160. I don't even have enough horsepower for that. 120 and 180. Yeah. So let's let's try something different. Let's head on down to the store. Let's fold this. So we can go up the street. Fold this. All right. Got a few extra minutes here. Let's head on down to the store and buy us that brush hog. And that's cool because that's what Fury had anyways. So to work out, that's what I'm used to. I'm used to anything, really. Um, as, a, as a farmer, you get used to pretty much doing anything. But it'll allow us to go back and forth. Boy, I tell you, Cavalier Roy does some stable, stable, stable maps. I am... On my screen here, on my sim dashboard, I got my thing lined up. And I'm telling you, it is... You know what? I even got a better idea. I'm not going to take this up there. I am going to buy us the swather. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's see how good we are at backing up. Life of a real farmer, everyone. You change your mind every 30 seconds. We're going to have, we're going to pretend that somebody comes and buys this and buys our mowers. We put them out in the front yard and somebody bought them for $30,000. How's that sound? There, now that we still have that. All right, so now, yeah, 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 because we're, we're using our pickup wagon. So we can use our swather. We can use this thing. I even have this little thingy. I, I like buzzing around with my profi hopper, this thing, around the yard. And it picks up the grass around the yard. It's pretty cool. Um, Russell turned me on to that. Now, this is a little bit more money, but it's worth it because we can 100%. Um, now, I'm still going to go that. And all right. This may take 16 years to get back to the farm, but that's okay. There, see, now we can go back like we explained on Riverview. We can mow this in a cab, and we will have them already windrowed. So we'll only have to, we'll only have to windrow the headlands. It'd be kind of cool, everybody. Everybody, let me put my joystick down. Just down, and I can do this and turn around. It's only 18 miles an hour. Now, as you guys know, I like the one thing I do like on every map is I do turn the traffic off because I can't stand FS22's traffic splines. Some of these maps that they, they go so fast that, which is realistic, but nobody is going to drive up this country lane going like 60 miles an hour. It's not going to happen. Um, this this one, Cavalier Roy's done a wonderful job. These go about 30. But, you know, when you're driving up the road and you get smacked by a car, and they don't stop. Oh, I forgot. There's no hit markers on those. This is pretty wide. I think this is like 8 meters wide. But, you know what? It works for us. It absolutely works for us. This little... It's uh, it's still, it's a little more modern piece of equipment than I wanted to use on this farm, but on the same token, it works for us. Oh, those got hit markers on them. I forgot about that. Fury got driving and not paying attention. <laughs> yeah. So, South Wisconsin farmer, Central Wisconsin farmer, actually, 
he tells me that he loves the New Holland. So guess what? We're going to try to to put... Um, if you guys have a specific request of a brand of tractor that you want to see me, like me and Ranger, we are 100% um, case fans. So we have our cases. But if South Central Wisconsin Farmer joins us on multiplayer tomorrow night... Um, I will definitely buy him a New Holland because he loves New Holland. So I will buy him a New Holland tractor just so he can use it. So every time he plays, that tractor will be his. That's what we're going to try to do. Uh, if you guys come on, because the worst case scenario, I can all, and if he, if he decides he wants to play once and then stops, I can just sell that tractor. But if he plays every week, then that tractor will be his and he'll use it for everything. We'll get him one with enough horsepower. Um, and we'll get him one that he likes. And he can use it. Same thing with you guys. Now, see, we'll only have to... We may not even have to do headlands. We may just be able to bail or use the wind rower and pick up those. But this will give us some big swaths. You know what I never even looked at? Let me see this. Uh, whoops. Whoops. There we go. I got to go in here to see it. This is... Doesn't say. Doesn't say. But I know it's got to be at least six meters wide. Now we can just drive and do this the right way. Awesome. As much as I enjoyed that other one, I think this is going to be more fun because this takes the pressure off. We could spin around right at the bottom of the field. We can go any way we want. And it'll make a nice swath. Those four, five, or six, I can just drive over those and pick those up. That won't, that won't be the end of the world. We won't even have to wind row now. That's cool. I'm not going to lie. I wish we had one of these growing up. I really do. Um, I don't know when they came out. I'm, I'm a guessing. I'm a guessing. So, I don't know. I'm a guessing. I'm a guessing. We might go a little bit longer tonight. Might go the full hour. Just because I want to get as much mode as I can. Um, and if not, you know, got about a minute left and we'll stop in 30 minutes. Like I said, it's not going to be the end of the world. And like I said, I don't care if there's 50 episodes for a day. You guys are going to see what we're going to see. So I can spin this around. Look at that. Look at that. Now. All right. We'll end it here. Quick episode. See, look at. Now you got a nice swath. But these can be picked up. Not the end of the world. Um. Yeah. I think we'll end it here. And we'll pick right back up. Well. You know what? I haven't gone an hour video in a while, so we'll go an hour video next time. How's that? Because I got Multiplayer Tuesday. Make sure you guys sign up for that. Um, and on that note, we're going to finish up. We got our new Durabine 416. I like this little swather. It's pretty cool. All right. On that note, be sure to look out for yourselves, look out for each other, and most importantly, look out for each other's families. And be sure to like, subscribe, and share, share, share. And hit the little, little notification ding, ding bell so you get notified when Fury drops a video. And please enjoy the night, the day, the weekend, whenever you're watching this. And on that note, Fury Machine will catch you all on the flip side. Maypole Dairy Farm. We got to get this picked up and get this grass going so we can get some dairy on this. Um... Let's see, what have we done here? What have we done for each other lately? Do, 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 do. 7.77 acres so far of grass. And we got a long ways to go. So we've played two hours and three minutes on this map so far. And a lot of that, we've played, you, me, and, the, and the, all the family members, we've been on this for an hour uh, together. But I played an hour and three minutes by myself. But years played one, but we're ready. All right, everyone. I'm going to catch you all. Multiplayer Tuesday tomorrow. And then when we come back next time on this, it will be an hour. Uh, so we can actually get some stuff done. 
Uh, and then we'll go from there. But I'm not going to limit myself. I'm going to play to where I want to play and stop when we want to stop and go it. But it will be right where we left off. So this piece of machi machinery will be right here. So there's no deviation. So please, 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 I'm going to say it every episode. Don't get frustrated because we're taking so long to get to the next episode. Just come along with me and join me and enjoy it and do what I'm doing because we're we're not going to be in any rush. And if Riverview comes back, we'll probably do both. Uh, we'll do this one and Riverview at the same time. And we're just going to play like we want to play. All right, everyone. I'll catch you all on the flip side.